So this next method for uh, uh, incorporating inclusions uh, is really good for uh, smaller things like seeds. Um, I've got flax, sesame, sunflower, and nigella seeds here. Um, just a mix, it can be one, it can be all of them, doesn't really matter. Uh, this is also a good way to incorporate things like ground spices or uh, herbs, dried herbs, um, or grated cheese or anything like that, so like uh, smaller, uh, um, finer sort of garnish that you want more evenly dispersed throughout your uh, dough rather than like a chunky nut or a dried fruit. Uh, so the way that we're gonna do this is um, my dough has been bulk fermenting for about an hour or two, and I'm going to uh, lightly dust a flour, uh, surface with flour and get the dough out. And this is, uh, we're incorporating the seeds at our stretch and fold uh, portion of your bulk fermentation, okay? So you're doing two things at once. You're, you're both doing your uh, fold during your fermentation, and we're also incorporating the garnish, okay? And the way to do this is to really just kind of start tugging at the dough, and I try to get underneath it. If it's a little bit sticky, you can do a little bit of flour on top as well. And you really just stretch out this dough and be kind of holding one side and tugging at the, the larger pockets of it. Some folks like to call this the lamination technique because you're stretching your dough out and then really enveloping the seeds around or inside of it. So you're, you're laminating the dough itself, the seeds. Okay, so you really just stretch this quite thin. The thinner that you get it, the uh, more evenly dispersed your seeds will be, or your cheese or whatever you choose to be putting in here. So I'm going to be doing it something like this, kind of using the tackiness of the dough uh, to my benefit and having it stick to the workstation here. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. And now what I'm gonna do is just sprinkle my seeds on. Now, just like when you're seasoning, when you're cooking, if you uh, go for, drop from a little bit up high, it's going to disperse a little bit more evenly, which is nice. You know, as, you, as it drops, it'll disperse out over a wider area versus when you go from right down here, you're just gonna have kind of tight clusters. And then I'm going to fold my dough over, put a little bit more seeds if I choose, fold my dough over. And then one last time here before really rolling the dough up like this and continuing my bulk fermentation, okay? So this goes back in the bowl. That counts as my stretch and fold for incorporating my oxygen for fermentation, and that uh, counts as the fold for really tightening your dough uh, during, your, during your bulk fermentation, okay? So bulk ferment this uh, for the rest of your normal time that you uh, usually ferment your dough for uh, before portioning it uh, and, uh, and shaping it. Mm -hmm.